Hello and welcome to TacticalAuction.com. This tutorial will explain the process of listing an item for sale. Feel free to pause this tutorial at any time. Let's begin. Our first step is to go to TacticalAuction.com and sign in. Remember that your username and password are both case sensitive. Once we sign in, the member account control panel is displayed. From this page we can easily sell an item by clicking the link at the top of the web page titled Sell. By clicking this button it will take us to the auction type selection screen. Now let me show you another way of getting to this screen. We will go back to the member account control panel by selecting my account located in the upper hand right corner. As you can click on this it brings us back to the member account control panel. The second method of beginning to list an item for sale is to select auction sell an item. On the auction type selection screen you will see four types of auctions with detailed descriptions. All auctions will allow you to upload eight pictures and one YouTube video per listed item. The first auction type is the basic tactical auction. This auction allows you to sell one item or service either with or without the reserved price. The duration of this auction can be set at 1, 3, 7, 14, and 30 days. The buy item now auction allows the member to sell one item or service at a set price. The duration of the buy item now auction can be set to 1, 3, 7, 14, and 30 days. The fixed price auction allows a member to sell one or more items at a set price. The duration of the fixed price auctions can be set at 60, 90, or 120 days. This auction is useful when listing items or services that are readily in stock or items that you have more than one of. Now that you have chosen the appropriate auction type, you merely need to click on the name of the auction to get started. At the top of the page, you will see an instruction that all required items must have a red asterisk beside the data field. I have pre-filled in portions of the auction form for expediency purposes. We will start by typing the name of our item. The description can contain up to 50 characters and we suggest that you use all of them. Our search engine algorithm is based on the title and subtitle. The more descriptive you are, the better the search results. Next we fill in the subtitle and try to be descriptive as possible by adding additional information about the item. Select appropriate item condition from the drop down menu and then place your item in the appropriate category. We have over 120 categories. The next thing we will do is enter our item description. You can manually type in the description, paste it from MS Word or copy or paste it from a website. Please do not use HTML encoding in your, in your description as it will cause an error. It is always important to add any relevant information you may want to include about the sale. In this description we explain our method of payment. You can include information you will like in the description. Our only restriction is that we do not allow links to other auction sites. Now we will move on and add some pictures to this auction. To do this simply click on the browse button and find the picture we would like to use. Most all popular picture types are supported like JPEGs, GIFs, and bitmap images. Once we have selected the picture file we hit the upload button. You will know that the upload is successful once you see a thumbnail of the image you have selected. We continue uploading pictures using the same process until we are finished or meet the maximum limit of 8 pictures. Our next data field is very innovative. You can embed a YouTube video and associate with your item or service. For our LCP that we are listing, we found a video from Ruger for public release by searching YouTube. Now we need to know how to embed this video into our auction listing. To do this, we go to YouTube and first find the video. We then hit the button labeled Share. Then we select Embed. When you hit the Embed button, it will display the required code. Simply copy this code and paste it into the YouTube video embed field within the auction listing. It's that simple. You have just integrated video with your auction listing. If you get confused, just hit the help menu. Awesome, right? We think so. 
Next we select our desired auction duration. In this listing we will select 14 days. Now insert your start price. Please enter numerals only and do not add the dollar sign as it will cause an error. We will enter $100 as a starting price. We will also enter a reserve price of $350. This is the minimum price that we are willing to sell the pistol for. This item does require a transfer via FFL so we select yes on the drop down menu. Another revolutionary option you have when listing an item is to accept a trade. We select yes on the auction and enter what we want which is a Springfield XDS 9mm. Now you can input items of equal value or basically anything you wanted. We basically put the functionality of a traditional gun store into the auction. Now you may receive trade offers from other members since this was selected. Some of these offers could contain what we call cash to boot. This is a trade item and additional cash in exchange for the item that you have listed for sale. Now select your shipping option from the drop down menu and enter the associated cost. Now you're the listed member must decide how you wish to take payment for items. The available options are PayPal. This option is only activated when you input your PayPal email address. We do not agree with PayPal's stance on the Second Amendment nor its anti firearms policy. However, we included this option as a convenience for our members who sell products other than firearms. We know that some small businesses solely rely on this service and that is the only reason it was added. Again, it is only activated if the member places his PayPal email address in the auction. We don't endorse PayPal nor do we agree with their policies. Personal check. If selected, we suggest you ship the item. You do not ship the item until the personal check clears your financial institution. Money orders. We suggest you USPS postal money orders because they can be verified at any local post office. USPS also has a claims process for fraud which protects the buyers. Credit cards. This is an option if the member selling member has a payment processing solution and accepts credit cards as payments. Pay upon pickup. This is an option for members that allows the purchasing member to pick up the item at a residence, agreed upon location, or a storefront. We do not endorse any certain payment option. However, we support the accessibility of all members to receive payment and complete transactions. Lastly, enter your return policy and select the return period from the drop down menu. Now click the continue button and you will see a verification screen stating that your item has been listed. The five newest items are rotated on our home page. We will click our logo and return to the home page. We will now click on the auction to review it. Notice the functionality of the pictures and the YouTube integration. You can also see this item by clicking on my account and then auctions active. From here you can edit or delete this item as necessary. That's it. Congratulations. You have just listed an item for sale with absolutely no fees. We appreciate you being a member of Tactical Auction and a part of our community. Tactical Auction, where it's always free and there's never a fee.